This is a new series of demos intended to show how to do some simple but very useful things in InfoPath 2007. I'm going to start with one that a couple of different people have asked me how to do, and that's using the username function to autofill appropriate values in form fields from an external data source. The first thing you need to do is set up the connection to the external data source using the data connection wizard. The wizard is pretty straightforward, so I won't go over that here. If you want me to, leave a message in a comment and I'll do another demo on that subject. Once you have the data connection set up, you'll be able to see the form fields from that other data source listed in the data source menu on the right hand side. But where you'll be doing the work will be on the fields in the form. First, I'll pick this username field. I right click on it and go to the text box properties option. What I will do is I'll set a default value on this field, but rather than have the same value each time, this will be calculated for each form using a function. I simply click on the function button, then click on the option to insert a function. I'll choose the username function. Now the field will automatically be populated with the username of whoever is filling it out. Now I want to use this value, so I'll right click on the first name field and go to the property option again. Again I'll click on the function button for the default value, but this time I'll choose to insert a field. I'll choose the appropriate field for my external data connection. If I left it as this, the field would automatically show the first value in this column, which might not be the correct value, so I'll choose to filter the data. I'll add a filter, insisting that the value in the username column of the data source must equal the value in the user field I created on the form. So now the form will check with the data connection and display in the first name field the first value from this column with the correct username. Here I added it to a field in the form, but I can also do this using the data connection menu. I will right click on this last name option in the menu and again go to properties. Again we have a menu which includes a default value option and a function button. In exactly the same way I can choose a field and a filter. So you can have fields with the appropriate values in them stored in the background of the form even if they're not displayed to an end user. I'll preview this form. We get a security warning because the form is connecting to the external data source. But when I click yes, we'll see a form with the appropriate values filled out automatically. So that's the end of my first how-to demo. If you have any suggestions about other areas you'd like to see demonstrated, please leave a comment and I'll see what I can do.